What up, fish people? Kenny E. with Danikin Aquatics. Well, moving right along in the top 100 fish of the Danikin Fish House is this adorable little species called a pea puffer. And as you can see, they get their name because of their size. Absolutely adorable. Here is my pinky, guys, to give you an idea. They are tiny little guys. One of my favorite puffers on, in the world. I absolutely love these guys. And they are absolutely a blast to keep. They are constantly foraging and looking for food. I mean, just the prolific little hunters. I absolutely adore them. But these guys are from Southwest India. Kaladara region, I believe, is where they're from. But they are threatened in the wild due to overfishing and habitat loss. So this is one fish that's probably paid the price for the hobby. But generally speaking, these guys are relatively easy to take care of. They are a actual freshwater puffer, so you don't have to keep them in brackish. And they do get maximum size of one and a quarter inches. So, which makes it so you can keep them in cute little cubes like this. Or little 10 gallons like that. Or little 3 gallons like, or 5 gallons like that. They are a perfect little nano tank fish. Uh, we only have 4 of them in here, which I think is about right for this. This is a 9.9 .9 gallon cube. And as you can see, we have one major piece of dragon rope. Dragon wood, dragon rock in the dragon stone. That the reason we have that in there is that's one big major sight break. And the reason we did that is these guys can be quite little territorial little suckers. And this makes it so the aggression stays down and they don't beat the tar out of each other. These four that I have, though, I will say are pretty chill with one another. I haven't seen a lot of aggression. Um, Overall, pretty easy fish to take care of. Now, one of my favorite things in the world to feed to these guys is live mosquito larva. Fortunately, with all the recent uh, high temps in our area, I haven't been able to get any in a while. Or I would show you guys what they're like. But if you look on my previous videos and look up Pea puffers feeding on mosquito larvae. You can watch the video and check that out. It's pretty hilarious, actually. The other things we feed them is obviously snails. They love snails. Sorry, Roxanne. They also eat uh, bloodworms, brine. I haven't really tried any pellets with them. I have heard of people using pellets with them, but mine have not ever had pellets. They've always had frozen or live food. But don't let their little size. These guys are voracious eaters. They have quite the little appetites. And as you can see, mine are relatively roundage. I love the patterns on that one especially. These three littler ones are new that is the main one we've had forever that one there actually did kill all its tank mates which was not much fun for us so after being alone for approximately six months or so eight months we let him chill out and now he's allowed these three to be in here and these three have been in here for probably a month or two with him now and he doesn't seem to be picking on them This is a cute little one too. Little bitty guy. But like I said, when you're choosing their tank, it doesn't have to be large, but what I do recommend is lots of little hides and structures, plants. Just gives them a little sense of security and they do their thing. And But all day long, they're on the hunt. That's basically all they want to do is hunt. And as you can see, very personable. Come right up to the tank and say hello.
They greet me every morning and every night. I will admit that this is one of the tanks that I do spend quite a bit of time in front of. I don't know what it is about them. They just make me giggle and send me or send me to bed or wake me up with, in a good mood here. If you haven't kept them, I highly recommend them. And I, and I wish I didn't have so many cool fish because normal terms, these probably would have been in my top 10. But unfortunately, I do have a lot of other cool fish. And they've got lots of bubbles in the tank right now because we just did a fresh water change for them. And I remembered I had to do my video tonight, so I said, let's do it. No better time than the present. So guys, if you're digging these, hit that like and subscribe button. And go ahead and give us a comment, and if you would, share it out to your friends. We love getting your comments, and we try to uh, answer 100%, and usually do. Very rarely does one slip through the cracks. Look at the beautiful little eyes on him. Or she. As a matter of fact, I think we have... I think it's two males, three females in here. Or excuse me, two males, two females. We're going to see how that works out. I'm hoping I don't get any aggression when these ones mature a little more. These ones are just shy of full grown and the one back there is full grown. Like I said, they don't get real big. Anyway, guys. So like I said, coming in at number 28 of the Danikin Aquatics Top 100 Fish of the Fish House is the adorable little pea puffers. Hope you enjoyed this, and look for number 27 tomorrow. Like I said, don't be uh, surprised here. On Thursday, there will not be a video, most likely, and you won't see another one after Wednesday night for the top 100. However, you will see live coverage from the ACA convention. I already know that I'm going to get to see Lady Diane Carey with Science Gal Aquatics, Fishy Biz, Danny Westy, and a few others. I can't wait. So anyway, as always, guys, love your fish. This is going to be Kenny E. with Danikin Aquatics checking out for now. You guys have a great one.